But you know what I can't understand is how you keep that leg shaking just <laughs> just at the right tempo all the time you're saying. <laughs> well, I, it, it gets tired sometimes. I have to stop and rest it, but <laughs> it just automatically wiggles like that. <laughs> Hey, Dane, welcome to the Mark Perry Place. Thank you for tuning in once again. Okay, gang, today we're going to go all the way back to a connection that started all the way back at Sun Records for an entertainer that I've greatly admired ever since I was a child, just like I've admired Elvis. Being another one of my favorite entertainers, I was really hoping there was a connection between him and Elvis, and I did find a few. And we're going to take a look at them today on here on Peyton Place. So, let's dig in. Well, whirlwind of the love of my darling. Okay, gang, this song Whirlwind was on an album I received as a child, and it always reminded me of Elvis. Guys, meet Charles Allen Rich, born December 14th, 1932. Rich developed a taste for jazz, where he majored in music at the University of Arkansas, where he perfected the horn and the piano. In 1952, Rich enlisted in the Air Force, where he moonlighted at night in honky-tonks. Upon his discharge, his plans were to move back home, only to find that his wife, who he met in the service, had taken his tape to Sun Records, where they hired him as a session musician. Sun advised him to stop playing jazz and perform in the vein of Jerry Lee, to which Rich obliged, even writing a song recorded by Jerry Lee. He also recorded C.C. Ryder, which you heard, and Unchained Melody. And guys, Charlie Rich wrote I'm Coming Home in 1960, which Elvis recorded March 14, 1961, and appears on the album Something for Everybody. And that's not all, guys. In 1966, Charlie scores a hit with Big Boss Man. Charlie, who had become to known as the Silver Fox, achieved superstardom when he crossed over the country and released two super hits in 1973. This one, Behind Closed Doors, and this mega hit that went all the way to number one on the pop, country, and contemporary adult charts. Hey, did you happen to see the most beautiful girl? Those two hits sold well into the millions, and The Silver Fox immediately became an overnight sought-after headliner. Charlie The Silver Fox Rich passes away on July 25th, 1995, in his sleep from a pulmonary embolism at the age of 62. Charlie Rich was inducted into the Memphis Music Hall of Fame in 2015. And earlier this year, Rolling Stone magazine named Charlie Rich one of the 200 greatest singers of all time. That is it, guys. How'd you like that? The Silver Fox and Elvis. Charlie Rich has been a favorite of mine probably since I was five or six years old. Hopefully a favorite of yours also. Guys, I appreciate you watching the channel. So glad you're enjoying these stories. Keep liking, sharing with your friends, sharing with people you don't even know. As always, guys, keep rocking. Stay